last year at uh, Hanover Messe here, I just came out with this cobot for 4,999 euros, if I am e right. Exactly, you are right, Harry. Very good. So, so I was able to tell a story from there. And for me, I guess I worked almost for last 25 years. <laughs> and this time, at Hanover Messe Press Preview, they are talking about smart plastics. Exactly. The That's pink plastics. Exactly, the pink plastics. And I'm having with me Michael to tell that you will be able to see at Hanover Messe 2024 when it opens in April. Yeah. Smart plastics, we call our plastics which have intelligence within. In, into the plastics, we produce sensor technology as well as software know-how. The software know-how is based on artificial intelligence. So we put into the plastics several sensors which provide data. And they provide data to our software and other modules and with AI and some um, other applications we are able to see the condition of the application the preview, the predictive maintenance part and can look into the future. How long will be the lifetime of your application and when you need to replace the application. So that's about predictive maintenance and condition monitoring in one part as smart plastics. See, uh, even in India, plastics is the culprit without any mistake of it because plastics also we get from nature. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Huh? But it is uh, the way we manage plastics, it have created some trouble. But, oh. but you are making plastics smarter. You are giving intelligence to it. Everyone is talking about artificial intelligence. Today I'm able to see that even plastics can become intelligent. Exactly. So you work with plastics for years, I guess. All yeah. the bearings. Exactly. Uh, That's in, our main core. And I high tech polymers. High tech polymers. And last year I have seen that you know you are also talking about circular economy. Yeah, exactly. Trying to take down those uh, plastic bearings which is not functioning, take it back and then give them the new product. Yeah, yeah, exactly. With the smart plastic, with the intelligence, we know when the lifetime of the e-chain of the equation will end. And then we will provide exactly at the perfect time with a new with a new e-chain, with a new product. So there is no unnecessary usage of the product, there is no over-engineering, it's exactly fitted to the application and we will exactly know when the lifetime is going down. And then on the perfect time, with predictive maintenance, we will provide the new product. So it's cost saving and it's saving the, the, uh, the environment, lots of unnecessary, unnecessary um, trash because we will take back the old e-chain, the old polymer products and we'll get that back into our change program with circular econo economy. Hanover Messe is always very big for Igers and you bring a lot of new launches. Yeah, sure. Any new launches this time? Yeah, we have, uh, as you said, you talked about the, the cobot, about 4,000 euros. We knew have a new cobot called Rebel Kit, which is about 4,000 euros, so even less cheaper. And there will be lots of things around the Rebel several cells and applications and solutions around the rebel well, because we see like you said the rebel for about 4,000 euros is the go-to guy for our products so we will expand the product portfolio about the rebel some more cheaper application and less and many many better applications and solutions with our, with our cobots whatever i guess is bringing worldwide it doesn't take much time for it to come to india because they are having a very strong network in india one should look to visit Hanover Messe 2024 to see what is it that new IGAS is bringing to the table. Thank you very much, Michael. And for next two months, you have a lot of work to do to bring those new solutions to the people. I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Harry. It was great to meet you.